Okay guys, so I'm gonna get started and I'm not gonna do a perfect video. Just a little quick video of the before and after of my makeup. I don't even wanna show my uh, eyebrows because I look like Jeffree Star. But anyways, let's go ahead and start priming and moisturizing. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the rose water. And it's just a little cheapy brand out there. And I'm just, rose water works for different things. Uh, eczema, acne, uh, rosacea, uh, and redness, and many other things. But I'm gonna go ahead and start um, using my rose water. I'm also gonna try it with the MAC primer before and after. I'm gonna use um Reservatrol Lift Serum. It's a firming serum and this is, this is really expensive. I think it was like about 80-ish or so. I got it for less. But um this is for more like a mature skin like mine. And this is the name. It's called Cow Dilly. And I got it at Nigel's I believe. I think I put about two or three pumps. I'm gonna put this um, primer, um, and it's from uh, Catrice, and I got it from um, um, Boxy Charm. It's Illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray, and it um, prepares the skin, improves makeup wear. It's gonna give me like a little sort of glow. So I'm going to use this, this is going to be the last step, it's the primer for professional um, from um, Benefit and this is going to help um, just help my my, uh, my face look more um, like a porcelain, like it will cover all those fines and wrinkles, like it will fill them up and then it's just going to help for like a nice canvas to work, you know, with the makeup and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this to hide my little wrinkles and big pores. I love this. This is really good. Okay, so a little bit goes a long way. I didn't put maybe like maybe two little pumps. And um, let's go. So while we start with my eyebrows, I'm going to go ahead and just perfect them a little bit more and then we're going to clean them up with the concealer. Although I put some powder um, eyebrow um, to fill in my eyebrow, I'm going to go ahead and, and use the Wonder Bra and this, this does not move, it's not movable so you know like I'm going to go ahead and just put it over the powder. Um, shadow that I use so I should have used this before and then part of it let me go ahead and put this on and then I'll clean it up with concealer I'm gonna go ahead and use the mega concealer from the brand Moira, Moira Moira or something like that I'm gonna go ahead and use this let me see hold on a second oh. I'm gonna go ahead and use this type of flat brush and then I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up I put some concealer on my hand and then I'm just gonna go and just make my eyebrows more bleak and it, even if if I was to mess up I could always go and fill in again. Okay. Go ahead and clean it up and do the other one and then I'll be right back. You can see it looks more sharper and straighter than this one. I'm gonna go ahead and fix the other one and be right back. So they're not all perfect and just remember I have no eyebrows so I have to sort of shape them and towards the end if I need to fill in a little bit more maybe I do on this side then I'll go ahead and do that. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and put primer on my, on my eyelids. Be right back. So from the MAC um, 
brand. I'm going to use the, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right, it's Soft Orc, or O-C-H-R-E, Ochre or Orch. And it's a Pro Longwear paint pot. Primer for my eyelids. So I already put some in here. I'm going to go ahead and just add it in, okay? So I went already added in, and then I'm going to go ahead and just blend it with the blender. And then, and then just blend a little bit more on the top part. It looks really dark because um, of the lighting. It's not too, I'm not using my ring light right now. I'm going to go ahead and conceal under my eyes and I'm going to use the Moira Mega Concealer and it's the same one I use, I think to clean my eyebrow, yeah. I usually use the number one, this, this color is the number two, um, which is, um, it's just the number two, they go by numbers, but I ran out of the number one, so. That one was a little bit more lighter. And I'm just gonna go ahead and conceal the dark circles because I don't be sleeping good sometimes. And um, I wanna hide those dark circles. From Juvia's uh, palette, the Warrior Warriors by Juvia's. I'm gonna use this one. To, to use the cream color, this one right here, it's called a hosey. And I'm gonna use that to set the, um, set the, what do you call it, the primer on my eyes. I'm gonna use the shadow sh shields. Uh, you can get them at Wish, you could get them at, um, at Nigel, you could get them online on Amazon they're called eye, sh eye shields okay I'm just gonna put it on that that way I don't have to clean under my eye if any eyeshadow falls down it takes me time so this one comes you could take the whole sticker from the whole thing or you could just take the top part I'm just gonna take the top part because I already concealed so as you can see I left the sticky side and I left this one and then all you do is you just see if I could do it here on the camera. Sort of just angle it. And then also too when you're doing the eyeshadow it helps you to not go past past it. And then it gives you when you take it off it gives you a clean cut and also guides you for your eyeliner. So I like this a lot. So from this brand from um, BoxyCharm, it's called Violet Boss Essentials Pro Series Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use the sand color, the lightest one here, for a transition color. I always try and use a fluffy um, brush when you're doing transition. And then you could just trap and then just do like windshield white motion full circle motion you can't really see the color and that's gonna help the other colors blend like the crease color the transition color it's gonna sort of like help it blend together I don't know like if I'm pretty sure you guys see when a eyeshadow look is complete you could always see the, the first one like it always looks nice so this blend really good I'm going to go with a really like mm, soft I'm going aiming for like a little soft aim, um, orangey sort of look um not not dramatic and not boring either because my son's birthday i don't want to spend my time here recording 
I'm gonna use this is a transition color. I'm gonna use the terracotta here for just to um, a little bit lower than the transition color. Um, it's not quite on the crease, but um, just to bring up the color, always top for excess. Um, what do you call it? Excess fallout. Some palettes do have excess fallout. Okay, puppy, can you start dressing up? Okay. Mm -hmm. Where's uh? It's in the bathroom. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut a little bit the crease. And it's the same concealer I used the number two. And then I'm just I'm just gonna put it here and here and just clean that up with the brush. Okay. Just go with the brush downward like this. And just clean that up. I'm gonna put um some glittery um eyeshadow. Let me go ahead and just clean it up good off camera so this video don't turn out too long. Sometimes I blend with my my fingers. I wouldn't do this on a customer but if you're doing it on, on yourself just to blend it a little bit more you could do that. I'm gonna use this palette here. It's not actually a palette. It's like a, you make your own colors and I got it at a makeup event. And I'm gonna use the gold one. I'm gonna use the gold one to do my lid. I'm gonna use a fat brush, a flat brush like this. And this is the color I'm going to use. Oh! So I'm gonna use this again, just to mix in um, um, the crease color. And this one don't have a name, or oh, that's Delossi, and it's a matte shadow. Um, it's called, it doesn't say the name anymore, or at least I don't see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give it more color again because it looks like it washed off and I'm just doing I'm gonna try and bring you guys looks different looks natural looks cut crease looks different color looks I'll try my best to do it and um, right now it's just, I'm trying to do it fast for the reason that it's my son's birthday. Um, I bought this at, um, it's Wet n Wild, bought it at, um, uh, Rite Aid, I think it was clearance. I'm gonna go ahead and put some here on the, um, eyelid. And I'm just gonna pat right where I did the little half crease. And then let it maybe just let it dry. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my eyeliner, curl my eyes, put my eyelash. I'm gonna use the NYX black color. Um, it's it's a matte liquid to matte to do my eyeliner and I'm gonna guide myself with the um, eye shield okay I'm gonna see if I could do it here on camera it's not as easy Guide myself. The 
the eye shield, okay? So watch. Oh. And I messed up and it's okay. I could always use the concealer. Okay, I think I messed up, but and that's because I'm doing it on the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and fix it and do this right. I think I did it too, like, I did over overdid it, but it's okay, because I'm going to wear these um, really dramatic um, eyelashes, so. so let me go ahead and put the eyelashes. I'm going to wear these eyelashes from Little Mama. And MB XOXO Little Mama. And it's, um, let's see. It's just the number three if you see up on the top. Okay. You're gonna see what a big difference the eyelashes make to your eyes uh, when you do a makeup. And these are the number three, okay? I'm gonna curl my eyelashes. looks weird <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and line the eyeliner again I'm gonna go ahead and highlight the inner corners here and then put my foundation I'm gonna use the wet and wild um, what is it called it's a highlighter illuminator Megagalo Megagalo so, this is how it looks look I already stained my hand I got it for clearance to the other day at um, Rite Aid. So. I'm gonna use this little small brush, and that's how it looks. And I'm just gonna tap. Um, I think I'm gonna wet it. Hold on. I wet it with the um, setting spray so that it could get it a little bit more intense. What it does is just like kind of open, open, open up your eye a little bit more. Um, okay, I'm gonna use the um, Wet and Wild Foundation Buff Bisque and the color Buff Bisque. I like that it comes with a, like a little spatula and then you could just um, spread it out without having to be struggling to take it out. Let me go ahead and blend all the makeup and be right back. with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronzer in the color, is this is number one or something? Deep Pro Long, yeah. Got it for clearance as well. I'm gonna try and hurry up too because it's my son's birthday and he's already like getting bored. <laughs> he's like, Mom, when are we gonna leave? 
and it's all about him and it shouldn't be about me and this makeup here but I'm gonna go ahead and just put my blush I'm gonna do Alamar I'm gonna use Icy which is the middle one I like my cheeks really rosy so. I'm gonna use this brush and just pad the product and the apples of my cheek. If you don't know where your apples are, just smile and it's these here. And then just blend in circle motions. gonna use some of the colors that I use for transition on the, the eye and then mix it up mix them in with the rest of the colors I use just kind of blend the top eyeshadow with the bottom My hair instructor has her own cosmetic line and it's called Pink Pro Cosmetic. I'm going to use this one that is called Sunset and it's like a orangey color. Sort of trying to match with the eyeshadow. Honestly, I shouldn't even put um, lipstick. I'm gonna be wearing a mask. So. Vulgar and the black color. I'm going to just put a little bit of um, mascara underneath the uh, um, fake eyelashes so they blend with the fake eyelashes. <laughs> you okay, puppy? I'm gonna use the air and loose powder just to set my makeup. So I'm gonna I know what I'm doing now. I'm, I'm just setting my makeup. Probably I'm just gonna from the left over just. Over. I'm just gonna and just finish setting up on my face. Hi, birthday boy. Say hi to you too. How old are you, my love? One. He's ten. I was forgetting this step, and it's the highlight, and I'm gonna use the same from the Wet and Wild, and I'm gonna just highlight my high cheeks here, cheekbones. on my nose, keep it going. And then I'm gonna set with the spray. With the dewy spray, has a little bit like a shimmer. I'm still gonna set my makeup, make my makeup last longer and also feels not too dry. So this is how I look. <laughs> you guys are not used for me to getting ready with makeup. I'm always raggedy and stuff, but um, I'm not gonna do any special like hairstyle only because my son's already bored and that's gonna take me a little extra more. But this is how the makeup looks. And I really shouldn't have put the lipstick because I'll be putting the mask if I'm out in public. So with that being said, hope you guys have a great day and see you guys on my next video, okay?